Today is the day you guys finally get the Icefield Guide you've been asking for. Um, I just finished recording all the games. It honestly went pretty well. Uh, I got most of the matchups in there. There's a few matchups that uh, I just didn't face, such as E-Giant and Golem, because they're kind of just not in the meta right now. There's too many, like, cycle decks for them to be successful. But yeah, I got majority of the decks in there, and I hope you guys enjoy, because this took a lot of effort to make. So yeah, hope you enjoy. All right, I found a game here against TQ Bale. Kind of going to see what he's running. I'm not really sure. Okay, so he's got the Monk. So could just be like a Monk Cycle. That could be Graveyard Monk. We're going we're gonna to have to see what it is. Um, he's got Skeletons. So Okay, he's got Fireball. So it looks like it's just the um, Cycle version of Monk, I think. Like Cycle, Monk, Phoenix, all those cards. Um, since he already used his Monk, I can go in with my Exo right here. Uh, the way you want to play against basically any monk deck is as soon as that thing is out of cycle, you go in because that's pretty much your only chance is when they don't have the card in rotation. Um, we're going to get a decent lock here early on. He's going to go with a monk late. I don't really know if that's a great play from him. But yeah, it looks like he's just playing monk ridge spam with lumberjack. So the key to this matchup, I would say, is getting this lead early on, which we've already done. So a really, really good start. And then just trying to maintain damage lead. Um... I shouldn't take too much damage, like, just from his pushes, as long as I defend really well. And I don't give him too much fireball value. Um, another key thing against the monk is I always like to try and block it at the bridge. Because, like, I'd say 7 or 8 times out of 10, they're going to activate the ability as soon as it crosses the bridge. Because, it's that's, I mean, they don't need to wait. Like, it's just going to give value no matter what. So if you block it at the bridge, sometimes they pop the ability. Um... Like, when your tower's not targeting it, so it doesn't actually reflect onto your tower, if that makes sense. So, he played the Magic Archer here. I'm just gonna go for an Expo. See if he makes a mistake with his Monk here. Okay, we're gonna go for a Nato. Oh, baby! Alright, let's go. Um, yeah, he made the mistake. He played it a little bit too low. And definitely gonna capitalize with that Nato right there. Because, I mean, any damage you can get... And Monk matchups is huge damage because you're not going to get another breakthrough, most likely, if you get one. So, luckily enough, in this game, we were able to get two uh, locks. So, I'm just going to go for the Knight here to block for the Magic Archer and then log this Lumberjack off. Um, it's always really key in, in basically any Phoenix deck that you do not let this thing get to its second spawn. Like, do not let the Egg respawn and make the second Phoenix because then he's going to get so much more value out of the Phoenixes. And, yeah, there's pretty much... Nothing he can do to come back for this game, so this one looks pretty wrapped up. Um, just going to go for a rocket on tower now. Um, and yeah, that should be GG's. So really, really good start, all against a pretty tough matchup. And definitely a deck that a lot of people are facing right now because there's so many people running Monk. And um, Phoenix as well, so solid first game here. And yeah, we'll go on to the second game now. Okay, found another game here against Steven. Looks like he's got wall breakers, so it could be drill, could be miner, could be mega knight. Um, right, he's got the bandit as well, so it actually might be mega knight. I'm not really sure. Okay, um, he's got prince bats, so yeah, definitely mega knight bridge spam or wall breakers bridge spam, whatever you want to call it. A uh, really good defense right here. The way you want to generally play against mega knight is, I would say, defensive in single elixir, unless they make a really bad overcommit. Like, say he goes. Say he plays Mega Knight like into my Knight and Ice Wizard that I already have down. Then I can just go Tesla High and go with an Expo, like something like that. Um, right here he goes Mega Knight in the back, so I'm actually not going to go for an Expo on the left side. A lot of you might think that's the right play right now, but it's definitely not because he's got he's got to have like an easy, nice response to that um, left side over there. Yeah, he's going for the Wall Breakers to kite that Knight back. That's fine with me. Um, I'm not going to defend this Expo too much. I'm just going to let it die. He does play play a bandit, but I should just be able to counter with skellies right here. So yeah, so he's got bandit, prince, mega knight, wall breakers. Basically, is his four like heavy hitting damage cards. Um, and the way you want to um, play against mega knight is you can take a little bit of damage. Like it's not the end of the world, um, but you need to make sure you're not falling behind on elixir. That's the main key against this deck. You cannot be constantly defending and not putting any pressure on. Um, he's gonna go for a queen ability. That's fine. Okay, that's a really, really aggressive Mega Knight right here. 
I'm just going... Okay, so, see, this is one of the situations I kind of have a bad hand. Um, yeah, he's going to go well breakers, so I have to let those connect. It's not the end of the world. That's much better than a Mega Knight jumping on my tower or the Queen getting back to a second ability right there. And then I know I'm up Elixir. Okay, that was a really good Prince by him, I'm not going to lie. Um, I played the Expo on zero, so I'm just going to have to go Ice Wiz on top of this Prince. And then I'm also going to log it off. Hopefully it doesn't get too much damage on my tower here. Yeah, nice. Okay, we got we got okay bandit. Nice. We catch the bandit with the skellies and the knight. So we're gonna get we're going to take tower here. Um, now it's all about defending for forty seconds. He's gonna go mega knight, mega knight in the back probably. Um, but yeah, really really good uh, prince by him on the opposite lane. Definitely caught me off guard. Oh, his mega knight's actually gonna switch lanes. That's really really clutch. So now all I need to do is pretty much protect this eight hundred HP tower from a miner and wall breakers, and also maybe an archer queen. See, yeah, there's the queen. Um, going to go for my knight early here, and then just go ice was on top of the queen. All right, yeah, GG's. Uh, really, really good. Like, well played by him, honestly. But I think that's my matchup, and hopefully that makes it pretty clear on how to play the matchup because you always want to play defense first and then counterattack against Mega Knight. All right, in another game here against AMA, he's going to go for a Goblin Gang right off the rip, so I'm just going to NATO it back. Could be playing Log Bait, could be playing a lot of the Sparky, could be playing a lot of different things. So it looks like it is Log Bait. He goes for a Princess at the bridge. Um, so, okay, he has Prince. Interesting. So it might be the Prince Rascals version. If that's the case, I'm going to want to be playing extremely passive, like almost no aggression. Um, until double elixir because I know that, um, I know like what he's running. I know he has plenty of good counters to the expo right here. He did have the, um, rascals out of hand, which is in my opinion, the best counter to the expo. So I go on for the expo and get 300 damage. Not bad. He also burns a goblin gang along with the rocket. So pretty, uh, pretty expensive defense from him right there. Um, he might go for a princess at the bridge. I'm going to have my knight ready, but if not, I'm just going to cycle it in the back. Okay, he's gonna go opposite lane that's fine with me um you're going to in this matchup you're gonna want to play defensive expos which is a lot different than most um log bait matchups I, I will hardly ever go for a defensive expo against like a traditional log bait just because the rocket cycle is so much quicker but this deck's pretty expensive so he has to play it decently slow just going to hmm, kind of have a bad hand here just going to log the start goblin off He's going for a barrel. I'm just going to go for a knight and ignore that first goblin shot. That's fine with me. It's okay to take a little bit of damage as long as you're staying, like, directly even with him. Because you're going to be able to win the rocket cycle in this matchup if you play it right. So, he's going for a gang to defend that knight. That's fine with me. Just going to... See, this is one of the situations I'm going to set up a defensive expo. Because we're hitting double elixir right now. And I don't care if he rockets my tower. It does not matter because I can just rocket his... Um, I actually, get, yeah, I'm gonna miss that Prince for sure. I'm not gonna waste a NATO that could, uh, potentially cost me the game or something. So I'm gonna go log on the right lane here to kill the Princess and the Rascals. And then go for a NATO Ice Wiz on top of all of this. And then a Knight as well to just hopefully defend it. Um, Rascals getting some damage on the other side, but I do manage to defend that really, really well. Uh, another defensive expo here. You always want to keep pounding the defensive expos as soon as you can. As long as you're up, like, damage, of course. If you're down a 1,000, you don't want a defensive expo because you need damage. But he's going for a Dark Goblin. That's not going to reach my expo, so I'm just going to burn a Tesla here. I think it's worth it to, um, just to keep that expo alive so it kills the princess. Another key thing is always not letting the Dark Goblins get too much value because there's a lot of things to log in this matchup, right? Like, every single card in his deck, I would want to log just to push it back. Like, even the Prince, I'd want to log it just to stop the charge, but you know you can't do that. Um, he's got the Rascal Girls, he's got the Dark Goblin, he's got so many responses to... or so many things that you need the log for. Like, it's even more than traditional log base. So I'm just going to NATO this Goblin Brawl the King because my Knight's already sitting there. I uh, would get the activation there. That's also really key in this matchup is getting the activation. Um, it's always nice to have that because just in case you're too low on Elixir to, uh, say, defend a barrel or something like that, you can just kind of defend it with skellies, and your king tower will help out a lot. He's going to go for a gang. I'm just going to go skellies up high to finish it off. 
So yeah, just keeping control of this matchup is the key. Setting up defensive expos. Um, gonna go for a log on zero here. Luckily, we do have enough elixir for it. And all right, my expo is gonna start targeting that rascal. That's really clutch right here. He might try and protect this princess a lot. We'll see. But I'm gonna go for a Tesla early just to protect my expo a little bit more. Um, keeping the expo HP alive is also key in this matchup because it's honestly so much value. He has no way to kill it, right? He goes for a rocket here. That's interesting. Um, I'm honestly going to just log this and then go for my own expo here because I already have this knight sitting here. And I know it's not in the lane that I have damage, but I kind of want to just pressure him. Looks like he's probably going to be able to defend this. He's playing a lot of elixir though, so I'm just going to go for a log nato to kill everything here. We should get a lock on. Um, not too much though, so I'm going to go expo other lane. He goes for uh, a goblin barrel. I know he's really, really low on elixir, so I'm going to go for the log right away. And yeah, we get the log on. GG's. Um, the key play right there to win that was definitely that log on the gang because I knew he had. He, did, he was going to try and get one of his five elixir cards down, right? Because he had no choice, basically. But I knew that he didn't have enough elixir, so that's why I uh, went for the really quick log on the gang. I usually wouldn't do that unless it's a game-winning scenario like this. I'm just going to finish off the game with an Ice Wizard NATO. So yeah, pretty solid game there. That's a really, really tough matchup. That's actually his matchup, um, believe it or not. But hopefully you guys learned how to play against that now, so yeah. Alright, going up against Pandora here. We're getting pretty high on the ladder, um, so these games might be getting really, really tough. I think we're like top 100 already, so he's going to go for an Ice Spirit in the back. I'll just match that with a Knight. Um, Executioner. I'll take a Rocket on that, honestly. Um... Could be a Mighty Miner Bridge Spam deck or Mighty Miner Graveyard, something along those lines. Seems like a Mighty Miner deck to me, but we'll see. He's going to go for a Phoenix. Not surprising that he has that. Um, my Knight actually gets a shot on Tower. That's kind of clutch right here. Just going to set up a Tesla. And he actually has Knight. Wow, that's really interesting. I have not seen many people playing Knight, um, especially with the release of the Monk and the, like, how strong the other champions are, like the Mighty Miner, the Skeleton King, and even the Golden Knight. Um, but yeah, it looks like he's playing Graveyard. So in Graveyard matchups, you want to always pressure as long as you have something coming down the lane, and you know, like, I don't know, there's just, you'll you'll know when you're up Elixir. Say, see, he just went in for a Graveyard, that's why I'm going with this Expo right here, because um, I know that I'm up Elixir. He does defend it really, really well with an Executioner Freeze. I didn't know he had Freeze, so that was well played by him. But most of the time against Graveyard, you're building off counter pushes. And say you always say he has say if he was playing Graveyard Poison, I would always be going opposite lane. I would never play same lane because you're just giving them a free four Elixir Poison on your Expo. So he's going to start up a Phoenix in this left lane here. Probably the right play for him is going opposite lane in this matchup since he does have Freeze. Um, in this matchup, I actually want to go same lane as him. Um, that's the difference between when they have Graveyard with Freeze and Graveyard with Poison. He might go in right here. I don't think he will. I think that'd be too aggressive. Yeah, he's going to just go for an Executioner. I'll set up a defensive Expo here since I know he doesn't have a big spell. And then I'm also going to log back this Xe so it doesn't do anything. Okay, yeah, he wasted Nato right there trying to get it in range of the Expo, which is fine. I'm just going to cycle Ice Wiz to the left here. Kind of just playing slow and matching what he wants to do. Um, he goes for a knight, so I'll go with my own Tesla here. And Skelly's to block for the Phoenix. He's going to go for an Xe, so I'll set up another defensive Expo. Playing a lot of defense in this matchup, but you don't need to be aggressive against Freeze decks. This is You need to play slow so you don't get caught out by one big Freeze push. Just going to continue to play this slow and set up another Tesla here. <clears throat> I'll go Skelly's for that, and then Xe, or excuse me, Expo for the Xe. Um, we killed the dragon egg really quickly there. That's clutch. Yeah, just keep playing it slow. See how, what, see what he wants to do. Um, he's going to go for yet another, another uh, phoenix in the left lane here. So I'll just set up another Tesla in this spot that's been working pretty well for me. Um, gonna set up another defensive expo here because I know he's gonna go for an XE soon probably. Yeah, there it is. And he might try and go in with this. We'll see right here. No, he doesn't. Okay, so we're just going to knight on top of that executioner right there and then continue to play this slow. Play some Teslas in the center. Just control the bridge here. That's the main key against, against graveyard decks, especially graveyard freeze. Control the bridge. 
Um, don't get caught out by one big push. He's going to go in right now. I don't agree with that play by him because I can just go Ice Wiz on top of all the skellies on the back end here. And it's a pretty clean defense if you ask me. So we have a decent counter push here. Unfortunately, we don't have another expo ready. My Ice Wiz on the left gets a lot of damage though. He's probably going to go for an Executioner. So I'm going to just predict that and go with an expo left lane. Yeah, okay, he does. So really nice prediction there. Um, he's extremely low on Elixir right now. Just going to go Ice Wiz on top of the Phoenix. And yeah, we get a lock on. He's going to go for a freeze. We catch the Phoenix with the Knight. And then... Hopefully we can kill this egg. Okay, yeah, perfect. We kill the egg. I'm going to NATO everything back right here. I need to get back to a second log. And he's definitely going to get some damage here. But that's not the end of the world as long as I keep my tower like pretty healthy. Uh, he also goes for a freeze. I'm just going to let this Xe kind of do its thing. I know it's going to get like a lot of damage, but it doesn't really matter as long as I don't fall below him, because I'm already up so much. So just going to go for... Okay, yeah, interesting. He actually switches lanes, catches me off guard there. But I'm um, just going to go for a... Ice Wiz on the left here. He still might go in on the left. Okay, he's going to go in on, in on the right. I'm actually just going to go for an Expo right now and then pull everything to the right so my Expo locks on tower. Um, log as well to kill all, this, to kill all the skeletons to the graveyard. And yeah, that's GG's really solid win there um played that pr pretty flawlessly no mistakes um that's the key against graveyard freeze just keep playing defense till you find that perfect opportunity to go in and you already have those defensive expos down so yeah pretty solid dub as well right there going up against one of the cr goats right here javi 14 uh, honestly have not seen this guy in a really really long time um I can't even remember the last time I faced him. It was probably like multiple years ago. So just going to go for a knight on top of the miner right here. Looks like he might be playing a miner cycle deck. Um, just going to... Okay, he's got monk. So looks like he's going to be using the new cards. Just like the majority of people in this game right now, to be honest. Which is fine. Um, we still know how to play against it. And hopefully I can teach you guys how to play against it. I'm going to go for a log. That was a good ability by him. But I still think it's a good log because I killed all the goblins. Gonna go for an Ice Wiz in the back here. I know I know his Monk's had a cycle and you guys are probably screaming at me to go in right now. But um, I needed to wait till I had my, like, enough Elixir to go, yeah, multiple cards at once. Um, he might be able to get back to a Monk, please? No? Okay, yeah, he does. Um, ah. No, oh, I tried to get, I tried to catch him off guard because I didn't think he'd pop ability. With that, uh, he tried to catch him off guard with that log, but unfortunately he uh, was ready, so well played by him. Um, not the end of the world, though, so he's just playing a minor cycle deck with with Phoenix and Monk. Gonna be really, really difficult for me to win this, but um, I'll do my best. The way you want to play against this is just try and stay somewhat even with them, getting into triple. Um, okay, I'm not going to catch the miner there, which is unfortunate. You need to prevent as much minor chip as possible as well. Um, and also in this matchup, I'm going to try to block the bridge a lot so the monk does not cross and get the damage like I was talking about. Um, in the last, in the, I think the first game is when I played monk. He's going to go in with it again right here. I'm just going to allow it this time to get through because I think I should be actually able to get a breakthrough unless I'm crazy. Because, alright, we've logged these goblins for sure because he used his monk and he used phoenix, right? So that's like his two best counters to me. Um, he's going to go Inferno Tower. Okay, interesting. We... Hmm. Gonna go Tesla just to help kill this monk. I know he's gonna pop ability, which is fine. I need to... Uh, I'm just gonna log this, even though I know it's gonna hit the expo, but I don't really care. Um, the goblins are... get too much value if I don't log them, so... Uh, we catch the miner here, so I'm just gonna go with Knight to prevent all damage. That's the key. You need to keep... or make sure, like, 100% you don't take damage. Um, pretty bad Inferno by him. He tried to predict me. So I'm just going to take the rocket on the left side here and then go Tesla high to snipe this Phoenix. Um, Ice was to the side as well. And looks like he's going Poison. I'm going to play the Knight right on top of the Miner so it retargets. And he didn't Poison my Expo or my Tesla, so it's still going to survive here for a while. Um, no point in going Expo really though, so I'm just going to cycle a log here. And then go for a second Tesla. Okay, he's gonna get the egg to spawn, unfortunately for me. He pops the ability too early though, so that's good. 
And then I can just kind of set up for a Expo Tesla other lane here. He should be in decent trouble, I think. Um, he might be able to get an Inferno down, though. Yeah, he probably will. I'm not going to overcommit too hard right now. So there's the Inferno. Just going to allow it to do its thing. And let's see what he wants to do. So I'm already back to another Expo right here. Just going to place it in the left lane, I think. Actually, I'm just going to go for a Rocket because I know he has Monk and Cycle. And going for an Expo is just asking for it to get reflected on. Um, just going to wait for him to make a play and then NATO back this Monk. I need to keep and make sure it doesn't cross the bridge like I was saying. Knight for the Miner, hopefully. Okay, we actually do catch it. That's clutch. Okay, 50 seconds left. I'm going to need to go for a lot of Rocket Cycles right here. NATO everything back and then I'm actually going to go for an X1 on the left lane because he played a lot of Elixir right here. No, dude, he has a monk already, or he has enough for a monk already. That's insane. Um, I'm going to go for a rocket cycle now. I think that's my only play. There's no way I'm getting a breakthrough. So going with my Tesla high, and then hopefully knight to catch the miner. Yes, we catch the miner. That's really, really clutch. Um, 20 seconds left. I need to go for a rocket. There's no way I'm getting two rockets. Hmm. Okay, Ice Wiz, pull everything back with the NATO. Cannot allow... No, 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 no. Okay, we catch the Miner. Yes, that's so clutch. No way he played it in the same spot. I'm so happy that we predicted right there. Two seconds left. Yeah, we win this, right? Okay. <gasps> oh, I'm so glad we caught the Miner right there. Um, I made a little mistake because I let the Monk cross the bridge and he can get that reflection damage, but we managed to squeeze out the victory right there. So really, really good game. But, uh, GG's to him. Alright, found the next game against Asaf here. We know he's playing drill, so this is going to be a really, really good learning lesson for anyone that struggles against drill decks, including me. I always struggle against drill decks. So just going to go Skelly's and log for the drill right here. Um, pretty good Tesla placement right there. Um, that's the placement you want to do every single time because, or if you think they're going to go wall breakers with the drill. Um, he goes for a Dark Goblin, trying to catch me off guard, but we're ready for it. So yeah, against Drill Cycle. The key to this matchup is waiting for them to overcommit and just playing really, really, really patiently until you know that they have something out of cycle. Um, for instance, he just played a Skeleton King right here, so I'm going to go for a Tesla up high. The reason I'm going for this Tesla is to damage that down as quick as possible. If he plays a Skarmy, that's completely fine. I'll just NATO it. Um, yep. There's the Skarmy just going to... I'm not going to log this because I need my log for the drill. Um, so yeah, just play slow against drill. Just play under control. Know that they're going to always want to go in. That's how they play the game. Um, there's nothing wrong with that. But you can definitely capitalize on the majority of drill players' mistakes. So I'm going to go ahead and log these wall breakers right here because I kind of have a bad cycle. And then... Go for a Tesla low, because I'm figuring he's going to go in. Yeah, so decent prediction right here. Going to NATO everything up here. He's going to pop ability, which is completely fine with me. Ice Wish should clean up. Yeah, decent defense right there. So yeah, as you guys can see, I'm really, really happy with the start. Even though we haven't done anything on offense, haven't even touched a tower, we haven't taken much damage. That's the key to this matchup every single time. He's probably going to go in. Yeah, he's going to go Dark Goblin, which is completely fine with me. I'll go Skellies. And then um, I was thinking about going NATO, but I don't want to risk a wall worker connecting right now. That could cost me the game. Um, minimizing damage is also really, really key in this matchup. Um, I know that he has Fireball most likely, so I can play my defensive expos in this tile right here that I'm about to place one on. Um, and then... Okay, I need to NATO everything back right here. There's a lot of skeletons on the board. Um, yeah, just going to go Ice Wiz in the back again. And then I think now's the time we need to start pressuring other lane here. So I'm going to go Tesla. He goes for Wall Breakers, which is, just, which is fine with me. Um, he plays the Inferno where it's not going to reach my Expo, so I'm actually not going to play anything to block that Inferno. I'll log back the Skarmy. And he goes for ability, which is completely fine. I have my NATO in cycle. So he's probably going to go Dark Goblin. Yeah, yeah, that's fine with me. I can go Expo on zero on the opposite lane here because he needs to go Wall Breakers in that right lane. Okay, perfect prediction right there. We get a lock on, and that should be all. Oh, beautiful. We catch the Inferno with the Skellies as well. Um, 
He's probably going to go for a fireball, but I'm still going to protect this as much as I can. Yeah, he goes for a fireball, so we're not... not game is definitely not over yet. He can still just apply insane pressure. Um, but really, really good lock-on. You guys saw what I did right there. That's, the, that's another thing to do against Drill. Just try and get two Expos down at once, going opposite lanes. Um, kind of awkward defense right there, but we do just defend pretty decently well with that Miner and that... Or that not Miner, that NATO and that Log. So he's going for a Skeleton King, just going to block it at the ridge with the Knight. And then see what he wants to do right here. Um, I need to go for a Log on this, troop, on this uh, yeah, Goblin Drill, because it's getting way too much damage. So we're only up 1,000. As you guys can see, it's almost impossible to play perfect defense, especially against somebody that's playing so, so aggressive like him. Um, pull back everything with the NATO right here, and then just go Skellies on top of this and go for a Log. So we're only up 600 damage. I need to go for a rocket decently soon. I do have the defensive expo up as well. So perfect time to go for a rocket when he's going to go Skelly King in the back. Tesla to snipe this Dark Goblin, hopefully. Yeah, nice. Really, really clutch right there. Dark Goblin cannot get a lot of value or you are in trouble. I'm just going to go for an Ice Wiz on the right lane here to hopefully deal with this. Um, yeah, we should be chilling here, I think. Do I need to do anything? I don't think I do. Um, just gonna go Ice Wiz on top of the Skarmy and then go for the Fireball right here. And yeah, we end up beating Drill Cycle, so... I think we win, right? Yeah, I'll just pull everything off of the NATO and then go Skellies. Yeah, we beat Drill Cycle, guys, and the best Drill Cycle player in the game, so... If there's any person that you're looking, like, on how to play against Drill, it's definitely ASAP that you want to watch. So yeah, GG's to him, and hopefully you know how to play Drill now. In the next game here against Hezzy. So yeah, really um, happy that we beat ASAP because that's, like, I really would like to show you guys how to play against Drill. That's, like, one of my main struggles. Um, and it has been since the card was released, to be honest. So let's see what Hezzy's playing here. Looks like he's got Queen, yeah, Queen, um, Queen Royal Hogs. So this is also a good matchup to learn. It's not very easy. It actually is pretty tricky. I know he's going to go for Royal Hogs right here, so I'm going to have my log ready. Yeah, okay. So pretty decent timing with that. Um, I'm just going to go for a Knight on top of the Queen. I know he's going to pop ability, which is fine. Um, did he already use ability? I don't remember. But anyways, that Queen's dead. So the key to this matchup, guys, hear me out. You need to get an Expo lock in like 9 out of 10 scenarios here. Um, I know it might sound crazy, you might be like, he literally has Earthquake, you're never gonna get an Expo lock, but, you are not going to beat them if you're just gonna go for Rocket Cycle, like, say, you're gonna go try and win by just Rocket Cycle and no Expo connections, a good Pigs player will beat you, because they will just outcycle, like, they will just outcycle your Teslas, and they'll make you, um play a lot of elixir on the queens and they'll make you just rocket royal hogs they'll make you do anything to keep your cycle like awkward um while earthquake cycling you so you need to learn how to play it both ways um there's two ways to play it just go for the expo connection like i'm about to do right here because he played his queen other lane or you can um try and go for the rocket cycle i mean it's really personal like it depends on the scenario right here i actually get a log so that's pretty much like crazy as this sounds that's pretty much a good game as long as I don't make a mistake, because the margin for error is so little in this matchup from both sides that, like, anyone that gives up an 1,000 damage lock, like, that get, the game's almost over from that. Just going to go Tesla right here in the middle. And if he allows me to, I'll just activate the King Tower. Um, looks like he's not going to pressure me, so I can just get the King Tower activation right here. He thinks it's really funny. Um, so, yeah, King Tower activation, very key in this matchup. Getting damage early is also really key, and not falling behind. That's the three main, um, what's the, what's the word? The three main points when going up against Royal Hogs, I guess. So I'm just going to go for an Expo here. Um, alright, he predicts me pretty well with that cannon, but I think I should still get a walk on if I log this. Yeah, we do. He's going to go for another Earthquake. He's actually pretty close, but it doesn't matter if it's close, because... At the end of the day, my rocket's going to beat his Earthquake if we're even in damage, so... Just going to set up another Tesla here. He's probably going to play Queen in the middle. Yeah, there it is. So I'll set up an Ice Wiz low to kind of just buy me some time. 
Um, I'm gonna let this fire spirit connect and then pull this queen into NATO because if I don't, it's gonna stead that ridge for the entire game. <laughs> So he goes for the Earthquake right there. Now is my time to just go for a Rocket on Tower because this Earthquake's out of cycle. No way I can get punished right here. He'll probably go in anyways. Yeah, he does. So I'll just go Tesla low and then log everything back. He goes for a log on offense on my Tesla. That's kind of interesting. So yeah, we have the damage advantage. We just need to not allow Queens to get too much value. That's the main point of this, this game right here. I'm just going to go Expo on the right lane and see what he wants to do. We might get a decent lock on here. No, okay, he's going to get a cannon down in time, which is fine. I don't need the damage, I just would like the damage. So I'm going to go Knight on top of the Queen and also Tesla. He might go for a cannon. Yeah, he is. So I need to be ready for pigs on the right side here. Or the left side. He might go either way. Okay, he does go on the left, which is a little bit unfortunate because I played that Expo right there. But yeah, that's fine. We can take, we can make him split lane damage. That's also another thing to do is just let them kind of split lane themselves. Like, I'm not forcing him in one lane or the other, and he's kind of hard tunneling, or hard, like, splitting up all his troops. So he's never going to get too much damage in one lane here. Um, just going to go Ice Bears on top of this, and then, honestly, I should be able to just log this queen back. And go for a rocket on tower. There's 20 seconds left. I can get back to another rocket if I need to get back to another rocket. He's laughing. He thinks it's funny. I think he gave up. Yeah, he did. Um, so yeah, pretty tough matchup, honestly. So the key takeaways from this matchup are play aggressively. Like, you need to be aggressive to get walk-ons and try and get damage early on. Yeah, pretty much. Found another game here against this guy. Just going to allow him to make the first move. Uh, I usually don't mind making the first move, so I'm going to... Okay, that was really bad timing. We played the knight right as he played the ghost. So ghost could be P.E.K.K.A. Bridge Spam. Could be Three Musketeers. Could be... Um, what else? It could just be like... I don't know. It could be something off meta, which is what it looks like right here. Because not many people have skeletons in a ghost deck. Could just be Monk Bridge Spam again. Um, hmm... I'm not really sure, so I'm just going to cycle my log now. Looks like he does have some sort of bridge spam because he does have the phoenix. And then... Should be chilling here if I just go for a well-timed knight here. So, he's got Executioner. Alright, so it's the Executioner deck that um, is going crazy, like almost. I'd say, let me say, I'm not going to overestimate uh, it. I'll say like 25% of people using Monk are running this kind of deck. So, I think I get a lock on here. Yeah, he doesn't have Monk in cycle, and he doesn't have Xe in cycle. Ghost doesn't pop up in time because of the invisibility. So, now he's going for a Monk. I'm just going to wait a second and then go Skellies. Really well-timed Skellies because they're going to tank for the Phoenix shots. And then my Ice Wiz is going to come out. Oh, okay, okay. Pretty bad NATO by him, so we just NATO that to the middle. Um, in this matchup, the key is definitely getting an early lock on and just playing, playing insanely aggressive when they don't have Monk in cycle. So, yeah, that's like the key thing to learn about um, Monk deck so far. Second it's out of cycle, you guys go all in. That's the way to beat them. You gotta get that one big lock on, or at least get some decent damage to win the game. You're not gonna beat them by trying to get locks when they are playing Monk on defense right on like right on top of your expo every single time. So just gonna set up a, another Tesla here in the middle. I'm ready for okay, he's got drill monk. Okay, this is this makes more sense. He actually has a win condition. So going to Wait a second, then log this here. Pretty aggressive NATO by him. I don't really know if I agree with it. All I need is two rockets on this left side, so... I think, honestly, the right play here is just setting up a Tesla on defense. Looks like he's going to switch lanes with the drill. That's fine. I'll just go Ice was on top. So, yeah, definitely the right um, play was to go for that expo early on. So, in this matchup, just go aggressive. And try and you know, win the game early, so, unfortunately, I kind of played a bad Tesla right there, just gonna set up a defensive expert here, I'm fine, he has no big spell, so, not gonna be easy for him to break through, um, he's gonna spam pretty hard, I'm just gonna go Ice Wiz, and then pull everything to the side here, he might go for a NATO, yeah, he does, um, okay, actually gets one big swing, but that's fine, all we need is still that one rocket, along with any other, any of my other spells, so, 
Just gonna set up a Tesla to predict his drill right here. And we should... Yeah, that should just be GG. He's gonna go Rocket NATO now and finish off the game. Um, now that I think about it, yeah. He was gonna... Yeah, he could go for a month to predict that, now that I think about it. But he didn't get that done in time. Um, another solid victory against a tough matchup. So, yeah, pretty solid. Going up against Stardust here. A really, really good player. And if I remember right, he is playing... Um, yeah, Royal Hog Cycle. So gonna just go for skeletons right there and then he's gonna go for a log so i don't really have a great cycle gonna just get my king tower activated in this matchup that's a decent thing to do always get the king tower activated um like as early on as possible even if you take a little bit of damage i'm still only down basically one rocket or one little expo connection so not the end of the world at all i'm just going to go for an ice whiz to the old, in the in the um, back here and then go for a tesla up high he goes for the Queen ability. I'm just going to play Skellies to protect my Tesla a little bit here. Um, not a great cannon by him, if you ask me. So I'm just going to go Expo opposite lane. Okay, he has Rocket. What in the world? All right, so he's not playing Earth, but he's playing Rocket. This changes the matchup a lot, so I don't need to go opposite lane from him. I can go same lane if I want. I can also go for a Rocket on his tower and not have to worry too too much about the pigs since i can play my tesla lower um he catches me in a pretty awkward cycle here so i'm gonna have to go ice Wiz, log and then nato to kill all these pigs but yeah the key to this matchup i can already tell you guys right now how i'm gonna win this i'm going to rocket him and then apply insane pressure when he rockets me back so i'm just going to go for a knight on top of this queen right here Mitigating the queen's abilities and like the damage the queen gets is the key to this matchup for sure. Um, you cannot allow the queen to just shred your Teslas like it did right there. That's a really killer for you. Um, especially since he has rocket, that's like a main thing here. He can't really kill my Tesla, so I need to kind of abuse this more than I have been. Um, just going to set up a... Yeah, he plays right into my ice whiz right here, so I'll just go natal log to knock it back. And he goes for a cannon. I think now is the time I'm just going to set up a... Or not set up. Go for a rocket on the tower. He might go for a rocket as well. We'll see. Yeah, he does. That's fine. So I'm not going to be able to punish him this time, unfortunately. Um, so I'm just going to go skellies on top of the queen. And then ice was in the back here. I need to somehow... Hmm, I need to catch him off guard with the rocket. Or with an expo after I go rocket. Um, so I go Expo here. Okay, now now I'm going to go Expo since he played his Rocket. Um, Skelly's to predict the Queen if he goes for it. Um, he looks looks like he is actually going to go for the Queen. And then I should just be able to get a really nice Log here, as well as an Ice Wiz. And I should get a Lock on. There's no way he has enough Elixir for a Cannon. Please, no. Oh, unfortunately that Fire Spirit jumped or I would have got way more damage. But it's fine. I'm still in a decent spot here. Um, need to go Tesla semi-high. And then he's probably going to go cannon on top, so I'll go skellies. Really clutch prediction right there. Okay, nice. I'm going to go expo. And if we can get him to rocket, I think we can win this game. Okay, yeah, he actually does go for the rocket, so I think that this is definitely winnable all of a sudden. Um, it looked like we were kind of out of this, but... Now we're only down 200 damage, so I need to still somehow get an expo connection. He's going to go pigs. I'm going to predict it with the knight right here, and then go ice whiz. And this should be a really, really good defense. That was such a clutch prediction. Uh, pretty much saved the game for me right there. Since he doesn't have earthquake, I can go for, I can go for the Tesla on the left um, to just snipe that archer queen. He's going to go skellies, so I'm going to go skellies as well, and then knight. Got to keep the Teslas alive as much as possible. Unfortunately, mine dies right there. He probably will go pigs to kite this back. So I'm just going to set up an ice whiz right away. Um, and then he's going to go for a rocket. So I'm going to go all in right here. That's a really, really bad rocket by him. I'm uh, going to go for a log just to kill the fire spirit and the skeletons right here. And then see what he wants to do. He's going to go for another cannon most likely. Yeah, there it is. I can just go for a rocket right here. And then skeletons quickly pull that queen out of range. Okay, yes, we get the lock on. Really, really nice NATO right there. Um, that should just be GG, so I just need to get back to my rocket. Uh, yep, this is coming down. So the key, the way to win that matchup is to just try and spam Expos as hard as you can when he rockets your tower. Like, that's pretty much the only way. So yeah, pretty solid win there as well. Hopefully you figured that one out too. 
Gonna go ahead and give the good luck to Mover here. Not sure what he plays either, so we're gonna find out and give my best advice on what to do against it. So just gonna go for a log. He also goes for a log, could be a lot of things. Um, just going to go for skeletons up high. Looks like he's still not gonna play something, so I'll go for an ice boost in the back now. Usually they'll respond to this, so okay, he does go for the fireball. Log fireball, so it could be royal giant. We have not faced a royal giant yet, uh, deck yet, so this would be a good um, test to see if it is. I'm just gonna go Tesla high. He might go RG if he has it, just at the bridge, but we'll see. Okay, looks like he's not going to. Um, he's got fisherman. Hopefully, he doesn't have monk. This is gonna be really, really, really hard. Um, RG Monk's pretty much the hardest counter in the game to, to Ice Bow right now, I would say. And speak of the devil, there is Monk. Um, <laughs> so, hmm. you guys saw my hand right there. I can't really do anything um, besides go for this defensive X Bow. He goes for a kind of odd fireball, in my opinion. I don't really, really know if I agree with it. I'm just going to go log and then skellies for this Monk so it doesn't get to my tower. Um, looks like he has goblins too, so his cycle's just gonna be really quick. So even worse for me, um, this is gonna be a really, really hard counter, but the, the key to an RG matchup is just keeping the game within reach so you can rocket cycle and triple. Like, there's no way you're gonna k get a connection unless they go for an RG in the back. Um, but even in this case, since he has monk, even if he goes for an RG in the back, I can't do anything about it. So you just have to kind of allow them to get their chip damage, try and stay semi-close with your spells like I'm about to do here with the NATO. Um, and yeah, just kind of play slow and play within, like, play to their pace, if that makes sense. Just going to go for my Ice Wiz on top of this RG right here, and then also Skellies in case he wants to go Fisher. He actually goes for a pretty decent Fireball. He misses my Expo, though, so not bad. Um, dang it, bro. He, he actually has, uh... I wanted to go Expo here, but he's going to be back to an RG already. <clears throat> Just going to go Skellies to kill this egg, and then honestly go for a Rocket. He goes for the Fisherman, so I'm honestly going to take the NATO. Screw it. Let's do it. you got to go for some risky plays in this matchup, because you're not going to win by playing slow. Like, you've got to go for the crazy Rockets on tower. Um, he's going to go Monk in front of this for sure. Yeah, okay. This is going to be an interesting defense here. So, Skelly's up high to just draw the Monk. Um, he goes for the Fireball. I actually let that Hunter connect. That was a really big mistake by me. And, oh my goodness, he's just, this Monk is just uh, body blocking for the RG for, like, forever right now. So, my Tesla's completely dead already. Um, he can probably go RG again if he wants to. Just gonna log the Fisher. And then set up an Expo where he can't Fireball, obviously. Um, he goes for a... Archie in the other lane. I'm just going to go Knight just to make sure this Ice Wiz stays alive. I don't really need to do much about that RG. So just Skelly's on top to the trick. Um, always, 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 always try and stay close in damage in this matchup. That's my main advice. Like, the, the one thing that you can control is not taking damage from him, from his troops. Like, you're going to take damage from his spells. I don't know why he fireballed right there. That was kind of weird. But... But you need to not take damage from the troops. Um, setting up another defensive expo on the on the right lane here, and then go expo or not. My goodness, gonna go Tesla to snipe that Phoenix right there. He's gonna take the fireball, which is completely fine. I can go Ice Wiz in the back now, and then just go for a rocket on tower. Um, Phoenix Egg is gonna probably hatch. Okay, it actually doesn't, so that's kind of clutch. Um, gonna go Knight Skellies to block for a fisherman. And then pull everything in with the NATO here. That's the one good thing about the Monk. Your NATO still works. Um, I think I have to go for two rockets here. Um, gonna NATO to pull everything to the right lane here. Log the left. Block the Monk at the bridge. Okay, do we win this? Uh, I don't think we do. No, I don't think so. We're gonna be, yeah, we're gonna be really, really close. Um, yeah, he reflects the log as well, so well played by him. Like, insanely tough matchup. Like, that's, I'd say, the hardest counter for Expo in the game, and pretty much we played that perfectly. Defended 
almost flawlessly took very minimal damage. So yeah, hopefully that helps uh, with you guys with that matchup. In a match here against Pompeo 4.1. So we know he plays Balloon, right? That's his number one classical deck. Um, he plays it with the Mighty Miner now since it's been released, I think. So this is going to be a good representation on how to play this deck. Um, what I usually try and do is... Well, okay, he has Phoenix, so it's a little bit different than usual. But I try to um, control the bridge early on as well as I can. I kind of have a bad situation right here, to be honest. So I'm going to just get the King Tower activation with the... Um, with the Phoenix. I thought he was going to go Miner. That's why I played the Knight in the back like that. But he, he didn't for some reason. I don't really know why. But anyways, the way to play against this matchup... You've got to get an Expo Lock, especially since he doesn't have the Ice Golem. Um, I'm going to be playing, pl applying a lot of pressure once we get to Double Elixir. Uh, usually opposite lane too, so he can't get Fireball value on my Expos. And just trying to protect my Expo as well as I can at the bridge with, say, a Tesla, an Ice Wiz, a Nato, Skellies, everything you have, pretty much. As well as preventing the Miner chip on my tower. That's another key thing in this matchup. Um, almost any Miner deck you want to do your very best to stop as much of the damage that comes from the miner as possible because the miner is honestly very very underrated when it comes to the damage it does like i know it doesn't pack a lot of a punch for each individual hit but like if you allow a full health miner on your tower that's like basically a whole rocket on your tower so yeah right now i'm just going to kind of take this one slow he's gonna go for the eye drag um, ah, this is also just really bad NATO by me right there. I kind of don't know what to do. Like, the situation sort of sucks, if I'm honest. I'm just going to log off the Miner and then Rocket the Balloon, so hopefully I don't take damage. My King Tower is going to help out with this Infernal Dragon, but I'm still going to Ice Wiz it because I'm scared of it heating up. Um, so we're in Double Elixir here. Single Elixir is the hardest part with this matchup for sure. Every single time I take damage, it is what it is. But I'm going to start setting up Tesla's to the side here where where it's um, able to pull the balloon even if I don't go for the uh, NATO. So I'm just going to log off this brawler, pull the Mighty Miner over with the, um, with the skeletons, and then just Tesla here to clean everything else up. Um, here we go. This is a perfect scenario. I already have the Ice Bears walking down the lane, and I can just play my Expo right into this push. So I know his Mighty Miner's out of cycle as well, so he's going to have... A pretty hard time defending this um he goes for oh shoot no the phoenix is gonna lock my expo that's so unlucky uh, we could have won right there if i played that a little bit better but still i'm going to i'm gonna i'm kind of in a decent situation here because i have him on the ropes like not on the ropes but defending like i want him to be just gonna nato everything back kill this eye drag um he switches lanes with the mighty miner i don't know if i agree with that play I'm actually going to go for a log on the cage because I think I can get a lock on. Um, yeah, we get the expo to connect on tower. That's really clutch. And then my expo should clean up this brawler. I'm going to play an ice boost to the left side here. Um, and then keep pressuring, keep pressuring, keep pressuring, keep pressuring. That's the main goal of this matchup. You cannot um, sit here and allow him to get a lock. See, once again, I'm going to get a lock on. He doesn't have anything in cycle. His ground cards are very, like, like hit very few and far between, if that makes sense. So I'm just going to go Skellies on top of this Miner right here. Um, he does zap him, which is fine. So basically, like, looking at his tower right now, I need, like, three or four logs and then two rockets. Definitely doable since Triple's about to hit. So I'm going to go for an Ice Boost in the back here. If he wants to Fireball that, I'm completely fine with that. Okay, he does. Now we pressure. So even though I can win the game with Rocket Cycle, like, I need to keep pressuring. Um, because he's able to defend pretty well. Like... Even though he doesn't have, like, the best ground troops, he can still defend my Expo every single time. Say, with the Firewall. Like, um, now my Expo actually gets, like, three shots on tower, and that's going to be enough to get me in two rocket range. That's really, really clutch. He just didn't have any ground troop in cycle. Like I said, guys, he has almost nothing to, like, kill my Expo with, like, on the ground. So he's going to go for a Fireball here. I don't need to do anything, and I can just go for a Rocket Log, and that's GG's. So we played that really, really well. Um, the key to this matchup again, pressure and double the whole entire time, and don't don't allow him to get you like in the cycle where you're defending. So yeah, GG's to Pompeo. Okay, found the next game here against AS Slash. Uh, we're gonna find out what he's running. 
he goes for an ice golem in the back, so it could be hog, could be balloon, could be three musketeers. Um, looks like it might be three musketeers since he has ghost as well. Uh, three musketeers is a really, really, oh boy, this is... Okay, so basically the situation here is I have to go in for this expo, and if I don't get a connection, I lose the game because the pump is going to just get too much value. Um, he actually has monk, so I'm going to go for a natal. Oh, hoo, 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 hoo. let's go. That is very, 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 very clutch. Um, that pretty much, if I didn't get that nato right there, the game was over. He has the elixir advantage. Everything is going for him. Holy crap, he's got enough for 3M already. So you see what I mean? Like, the advantage is insane that he has. I'm going to have to go for a knight on the single musketeer here and then just tank a couple shots from these musketeers, most likely, unless my ice was cleans up, which it does, actually. Wow. Um... So now we are in with, within two rocket range, and we're literally a minute into the game. He's going to set up another pump, though, which kind of scares me right here. But I think I have to rocket this pump, because if I don't, he's going to get the, that huge elixir advantage that I was talking about. Um, yeah, I'm going to try and rocket this pump, and then... Oh, crap. Okay, he's got... Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Um... Yeah, I kind of have no elixir right here. I should be fine, though, if I can just retarget this elite barbarian with the knight. Okay, yeah, we're chilling, I think. Unless he somehow has something else to play. Um, but honestly, it was worth rocketing that pump, because if I didn't do that, he would have been pressuring me the entire game. I probably would have ended up getting overwhelmed or outplayed by a monk. But now I have to play pretty much flawless defense. Not going to rocket any more pumps. Definitely not going to rocket pumps. Um, he's gonna, just gonna go, just gonna go monk at the bridge, he's not taking any chances this time. Which, honestly, I, you know, makes sense. Okay, really bad timing on the skeletons. Hmm, 40 seconds left. I don't feel safe going for the rockets yet, I need to just play this really slow. And he's probably gonna 3M, so I'm gonna try and nato him all to one lane. Yeah, okay. That's decent, we can just go for... Hmm. Honestly, we can just go for a log on this lane here, and then... Uh, gonna set up a defensive expert here. I'm still not comfortable going with the rockets, because I know that he's got 3M, and he'll just punish me really, really fast. Um, he might go 3M right here, we'll see. Yeah, there's the 3M. I'm just gonna pull him back with the NATO, and then Skelly's for this ghost. As well as go for the log here, and... I'm going to have to go knight on top so the musks don't take my entire tower. My towers are getting really dangerously low here, but he only has log and monk, so I need to remember that. Um, I'm kind of starting to panic a little bit here, but I don't know what I'm supposed to do. So I'm just going to rocket all these musks this time because I don't have a way to kill him. Um, let this ice golem go on the right lane here. <sighs> my tower's down to 580. This is not a great scenario. I still need two rockets somehow, but I don't know how I'm going to get them. That's the issue right here. Um... He's going to go Monk at the bridge, so I'm actually going to try and bridge block this. Um, okay, we're not going to get the bridge block. Perfect. Monk is just uh, a little bit too strong in this scenario for me to get that bridge block. Uh, I'm going to go for a rocket, and then Knight. Oh my goodness, that Knight was so freaking close to not um, retargeting that Ebarb. So I'm going to go Tesla High to just distract the Musketeers. Um, got to go for a log on this left musketeer as well as knight. And holy cow, just have to nato everything in here. Play skellies up high, keep kiting stuff to the middle. That's the key. He's gonna pop monk ability right now. I need to rocket. 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 Please don't be enough. Don't be enough. Don't be enough. Oh my goodness, guys, we just beat probably one of the hardest counters in the entire game. Um, I don't even know what to say or what to give advice for. Just go for the expo lock and single and pray. In the next match here against this guy, um, if I remember correctly, he plays a heavier deck, right? I can't remember exactly what he's playing, but I've definitely faced him before. Just going to go for an Ice Wiz in the back since he's not playing anything. And looks like he's got Phoenix now, so whatever, it, whatever he usually plays, he put Phoenix in there. Not a surprise since it's the best card in the game right now, in my opinion. Um... He's going to go for a poison, so it might be Phoenix Graveyard. Yeah, I think he plays Graveyard. So, oh no, it's Miner. 
Interesting. So maybe just Phoenix Cycle uh, again, potentially, with like a little bit different variation. Um, either way, any deck with the Phoenix is it's going to be a pretty tough matchup, like just being honest. So I'm just going to go Ice Wiz in the back. Especially if they have Phoenix in a big spell, what you want to do is play opposite lane, obviously, to prevent that uh, value. So it looks like he's just playing Minor Cycle with a... Okay, he's got Valkyrie as well. This guy's got a lot of answers to, like, just a lot of stuff that to pressure the bridge. And I don't really have great answers to, such as the XC and the Phoenix and the Valkyrie. Um, okay, he's got Bomb Tower as well. Wow. All right, so he's got... A lot of decent responses to an expo. I need to try and figure out how I'm going to get a lock-on. We actually get a decent 300 HP lock-on right there. The bomb tower, um, if you guys didn't know, does not fully counter the expo. So in this matchup, what I'm going to try to do is prevent minor chip as much as possible. Not allow an XE to line up on my tower and try and get a breakthrough opposite lane with the expo. That's the key. Unfortunately, my cycle kind of is terrible right here, so I'm going to just have to tank a couple minor hits and go for a log. Setting up Tesla's really high is also solid in this matchup because he doesn't have a great way to kill him. He'll probably go for a Phoenix if I had to guess. Yeah, okay, there it is. And I... Oh, I forgot he had Poison. I, for some reason, I thought he had no big spell, so that was just my fault. Ignore that expo placement. That was really bad. Um, Should have played it in the right corner. But it's not the end of the world because now I can just set up a Tesla... Or a... um. What do you call it? A push on this left lane here. Going to NATO in this Executioner to just to make sure it dies. Um, that bomb tower is extremely low. It doesn't even hit my expo over here. So I'm just going to go Skellies for this Val. Or Knight for this Valk and then log this off and go Ice Wiz. I don't think he realized that that bomb tower was too low and it wasn't um, aggroing my expo. So we get a really, really big connection right here. He's forced the NATO as well. So now we're up. 800 damage really 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 good um just gonna go skellies on top and then go for a rocket because i need to keep up damage the key against minor cycle decks is staying in front of them you can never fall behind them or they're gonna beat you like you need to stay above them in damage and not um fall behind like ever in this game like it's okay if you're down like a couple hundred in single like it is what it is but you need if you have the advantage you need to keep that advantage the entire game I'm just going to go Miner, or not Miner, freaking Expo, and then Knight at the Bridge to kill that Bomb Tower. Um, my Expo actually locks Tower. Yeah, that's just a pretty big mistake by him, and we're going to Rocket to finish off the game. So yeah, he didn't play the best, but that matchup's also really, really tough for me. Um, we played that pretty, pretty solid, and hopefully that helps uh, you guys out. Alright, found another game here against Gustavo Mai from Veterans. Looks like he's got Fire Spirit Log, so could be Goblin Drill, could be Minor Cycle with with um, with Wall Breakers. Looks like he's got Spear Gobs. Interesting. So I'm gonna go Tesla High here. I think that's a decent play. Um, he's got Bats, so hmm. Just going to take this NATO to pull the miner up to my Tesla. Try and prevent minor damage. So every single miner deck I face this video, the key is not letting it get damage on your tower. Or preventing it as much as possible. Um, looks like he's just playing minor wall breaker cycle. So I haven't faced this matchup yet. It's actually pretty tough. Uh, especially in single elixir when he makes plays like this where he's just spamming all in. And okay, somehow my knight literally doesn't swing right there. And then the goblins are going to hit hit my tower. Um... I'm tempted to go Expo other lane, but I know he's got a building, so might be a little bit silly. I'm going to do it anyways, though, because I think that we might be able to get a walk on. I'm not positive. I'm going to go for the log on these Spear Goblins, though, right away. Yeah, we get a decent log here. He has to log this too, right? Yeah, okay, perfect. So definitely worth it going Expo there. I'm proud, or I'm happy that I did. Um, the reason I went Expo right there is because I knew his Valk was out of cycle. I knew his um, Miner wasn't in cycle yet. So I knew he didn't have great responses for that. Um, so just going to cycle an Ice Boost in the back. I have my Skellies ready if he wants to go Wall Breakers. He's going to go for a Fire Spirit and a Miner. So unfortunately, we don't catch the Miner, but... Um, we do have a decent little setup here with the Tesla on the left lane. 
Hmm. Just gonna NATO to keep this Tesla alive. And then he's gonna go Miner. Yeah, I knew it. Uh, we actually catch the Miner with the Skellies, so really well played by me right there. I knew he was gonna pressure. Anytime they play bats like that, you gotta, in your mind, just say, okay, they're going in. Like, that's what that's what needs to be your indicator, like, that they're gonna play Miner, is they play the bats first. So, just gonna go for a Knight in the back here, and he's actually gonna switch lanes. Interesting. Um, don't know if I love that play from him. I'm just gonna take the Rocket right now, I think. Because I'm up 4 or 5 Elixir, I think, and then... He switched lanes as well, so, like, definitely okay with this right here. Gonna set up a Tesla, because he's gonna pressure both sides, I'm guessing. Yeah, there it is. Ice Wiz for this Fire Spirit, and... Hmm, Cycle and Knight in the left lane here. Just gonna go Log, and then hmm, Rocket his Tower right here, and then also Nato everything up. Gotta stay ahead in damage. Just like I said in the very last game that I played, you gotta stay ahead in damage. Um, the key to this matchup is not letting anything connect right now. This is this, ter this is the time I need to catch every single miner. I need to catch every single wall breakers with the logs. Um, I need to get the rockets on tower as soon as I can. Like just con continuously pressure him with your rockets so that he has to keep playing on zero. Um, He's going to go for another miner here. I'm positive of it. We actually get the Valk, so really decent stuff right here. Um, unfortunately, this time we don't catch the miner. But I still should be fine. Um, I need two rockets, basically. As long as I don't let a miner go crazy on my tower, I should win this game. Just going to do my best to catch it with this Ice Wiz. We don't catch it, but I can nade it to King really fast. And then all I need, need to do is log... Go for skellies to block for the wall breakers and then rocket his tower those wall breakers will not connect especially if i go ice whiz and that's ggs we played that perfectly defended well and yeah all right in the next game against enolith here looks like he has an ice spirit so could be a lot of things um he's got archers so maybe expo or maybe mortar cycle we haven't faced a single Expo or Murder Cycle in this video, so I'd definitely be happy to show you guys how I'd like to play against them. Um, looks like it is Mortar, so I'm going to go with a late Tesla here to snipe it. And honestly, I have a really good setup right now with this Knight and this Ice was already on the board. So I'm going to... Um, yeah, uh, I think I'm going to go with an Expo in the left lane here. The key to this matchup is just pressuring him so he can't just win with rocket cycles. He's always going to beat you with the rocket cycles because obviously his deck is like 3.0 or something crazy. So definitely pressure and don't allow any mortars to connect. That's a very, very big thing. Um, the second a mortar shot gets on your tower, you lost the game in my opinion because you like you pretty much cannot fall behind on damage in this matchup is, is what I'm saying. Um, I'm going to have to go Tesla here because he's just playing so aggressive at the bridge. Like, he's also going to go for an Ice Spirit right there, so I think I'm just going to spam an Expo on zero. I know he's pretty low, and I know for certain there's no way he can get a Valkyrie down if he wants to rocket this Expo, so he's going to have to make up his mind here. Yeah, he's going to rocket it, which is completely fine. We get, like, 400 damage. Perfect. Um, I personally like to go really, really aggressive with my Expos in this matchup just because they... Like, you need to keep forcing out their rockets so they can't rocket your tower. Um, if they want to set up a bunch of defensive mortars, which some people do, then you can just go for the rockets. Um, and then try and, like, wait for him to rocket and then set up your knight in the middle and then go expo where your knight's tanking for the mortar, if that makes sense. So I'm just going to go NATO to pull everything back right here. And then going for a... Ice was in the left again here. Just gonna log back everything. And then honestly, I'm gonna go Tesla and then NATO everything off because he's gonna try and protect this as well as he can. They always re really, really try and protect their mortars like as much as possible. So just gonna go Expo on zero. Like I said, I love to keep that pressure up, keep them um, on their toes. And keep them keep them low on Elixir as well. Like if I'm on low if I'm low on Elixir, I want them to be low on Elixir, right? So He's going to go for yet another mortar. He might go for a prediction NATO or something, so I'm going to go Skelly's high. 
um, Knight in the center. Okay, he's going for the same play, the, the stupid natal log with the mortar shot to kill the Ice Wiz every single time. Um, so I'm just going to go Expo right here. And he's going to be forced to rocket it again. He's going to burn Archers as well. So really, really good scenario for me here. <clears throat> Playing my Ice Wiz in the back. Skelly's just a block. And then I'm going to go for a rocket now because I'm in a really good uh, situation on Elixir. Um, he's probably going to rocket as well. We'll see. He's actually going to go Mortar. Yep. Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay. Yep. Yep. Okay. Sorry, guys. I don't even know what just came out of my mouth right there, but I knew exactly what he was going to do, but I couldn't, like, get it into words quick enough. Um, I knew he was going to Mortar the second he played that Valk, so I went crazy aggressive at that bridge right there. He's going to go for another Mortar here. Um, this time he's going to go... Okay, he's going to go for a Prediction Nato. So I'm actually going to go for a defensive expo. Since I'm already up a rocket, if he wants to take the rocket on tower, I can take the rocket on tower. So Ice was in the back, and then all I need to do is cycle back to a second knight right here. And then... Go for an expo. Um, he's going to have to rocket this, right? If he rockets this, I win the game, though. Yeah, he does rocket it, so now I can just go extremely aggressive at the bridge. He's going to try and snipe this with archers, so protecting my expo as well as I can. Um, log Nato for the archers right here, just to kill him. He's going to waste a Valk. Um, I'm going to go for the two rockets here. I win the game. There's no way he can get three rockets down. Um, I'm also going to go for another expo just to pressure him, in case somehow, by some miracle, he can cycle three rockets on my tower in 25 seconds. Uh, pull the Valk out of range with the Nato, and GG's. <sighs> so, yeah. Kind of went crazy in this matchup. You have to stay so aggressive if you want to be motorcycle. I can't stress this enough. It's the one deck where you really, really have to play aggressive. So yeah, GG's solid game right there.